Inflation, inflation is down since 1980, but not because of the supply-side miracle promised to us by the President. Inflation was reduced the old-fashioned way with a recession, the worst since 1932. Now, how did we... We could have brought inflation down that way. How did he do it? 55,000 bankruptcies. Two years of massive unemployment. 200,000 farmers and ranchers forced off the land. More homeless. More homeless than at any time since the Great Depression in 1932. More hungry. In this world of enormous affluence, the United States of America, more hungry. More poor. Most of them women. And, and he paid one other thing a nearly $200 billion deficit threatening our future. Now, we must make the American people understand this deficit because they don't. The President's deficit is a direct and dramatic repudiation of his promise in 1980 to balance the budget by 1983. How large is it? The deficit is the largest in the history of the universe. It, President Carter's last budget had a deficit less than one-third of this deficit. It is a deficit that, according to the President's own fiscal advisor, may grow to as much as $300 billion a year for as far as the eye can see. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a debt so large that is almost one half of the money we collect from the personal income tax each year goes just to pay the interest. It is a mortgage on our children's future that can be paid only in pain and that could bring this nation to its knees.